Well, it's been a, it's been a long, it's been a few years, uh, a bit of time that's gone past, and um, it's just really a number. It's just we just hope that she thinks about things and and um, takes some sort of ownership of it and reflects on on what's happened. That's all we can hope for. How hard has this process been for you and your family? Yeah, it's been really hard. We're a small family, and um, it's actually really just united us and. Um, We've been very lucky with victim support and the police, they've been amazing. So we, as hard as it's been, we feel quite blessed as well. How do you deal with um, the apparent lack of empathy or regret? Well, that's for her. I mean, that's that's not our journey, that's her journey. We're, we're just um, remembering Martin as a brother and uncle and brother-in-law that he was. That, that doesn't change. We have some really beautiful memories and that's what it's all about. How much we love, we love them, and that's that's all that matters, really. And how important is it to have this process behind you now? Yeah, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of the healing, and um, it is just a process. It doesn't change anything. It's um, yeah, it's, we we still love him, and wish he was here, and he's not. And um, yeah, that's that's sad. That's hard. Um, we just really want her to think about how how sad it all was, and how senseless, and how. You know, the sad thing with two people who did love each other, for it all to end like this. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.